Welcome back on my YouTube channel. This time we are in Monza, we're in Italy, and it's the final round of the Formula European Championship. Um, yeah, it's Thursday now, it's pretty sunny still, but it's probably gonna rain the whole weekend. We got two free practice sessions tomorrow and qualifying already on Friday, and then just one race on Saturday and two races on Sunday, and then the season is over. It's crazy. And there's some cool stuff still coming up next, so um, I'm traveling a lot the next days. But first, let's focus on racing, and yeah, maybe even the last race weekend with Ramasford Racing but more in this video and yeah, have fun! Oh I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot me down soon about this track on my track but again like I did in my previous video in Barcelona so if you didn't see it now or yet then go check it out on my YouTube channel um, but yeah Monte is our main high-speed track so we got really long straights um, we always drive low down for here because you can gain so much more on the straights and you can actually gain in the corners um, so braking for turn one is around the 100 meter sign <coughs> and so she came in second gear so you arrive in sixth gear we arrived there with nearly 250, shift down to second gear, you have to take all of the apex grips from the right hander and the left hander and then it's really important to go as early as possible on full throttle to have a good exit for this long straight coming up. This corner here, the right hander, is a flat, easy flat corner, even in the rain it's flat for us, um, so it's not really a corner, it's actually a straight. The second chicane is already the second corner, so you have Again, you arrive pretty quick, you break around 100 meter again. The braking is kind of difficult because you have some bumps there, so locking tires is really easy. And you do this one in third, so it's a little bit more quicker. Um, you take everything from the curbs again, and yeah, the exit is really important. Then the next two corners are two quick right handers. It's called Lesmo 1 and Lesmo 2. Um, in both corners, it's really important to have a good exit and to actually carry on a lot of entry speed. So. You do both corners in fourth gear and um, try to just go really quick, have a mid, really high mid corner speed and then focus on the exit. Then focus on the exit, less mode two is again, yeah, exit really important because you have a long straight coming afterwards. Um, it's a kind of bang corner, so you go into a dip, let's say, and then you really accelerate out. And on both of those corners are like really good and wide exit curbs, which you should use completely. Um, then going into the la second last corner combination, let's say, it's called Ascari, and that's actually also the corner where, Le uh, where Vettel spun in this year's race and the last year's race. If you maybe remember, it's like the um, left hander, right hander, left hander, this corner combination. Um, for Ascari, you break around 100 meters again, do this one in fourth gear. On the left hander you have a curb which you have to take completely and then you really, in, a, in our car, should be flat from the apex onwards. So the right hander and left hander should be easy flat. Uh, not easy, should be flat, sorry. Um, and then you have a long straight coming afterwards again, going into Parabolica, which is the last corner, the last really long right hander. You do this one in fourth gear and this corner is probably one of the most important corners of the whole track because you have this mega long main straight coming afterwards. Um, you do this one in fourth gear and try to carry a lot of entry speed in and then the corner really opens up so you should use everything from the exit. And that's also where the struggle was um, on the F1 race weekend because you're really limited there or like you're not limited on track so you can actually also go off track to gain time to be quicker but it's like then you're off track and then you get your lap deleted which was also the struggle we had in our qualifying session so you should always stay in track with all four wheels. 
But yeah, that's actually One Lap Around Monte. Um, a pretty cool track, a really legendary track. I was Googling it. It's This track exists since 1922, so actually really long time. Nearly 100 years, in two, in two years. And yeah, I love it. And we got two more races to go tomorrow. <laughs>